Good morning. Today is September 4th, 2022, and I have a good game today for you. And basically, you look at this thing. It's those two knights together. Those are extremely powerful. So, as usual, I'm going to start with puzzles in the beginning. Yes, I do have puzzles today. Uh, let's see. This... This is the beginning of the board, and I'm going to show you the, the first position right here. White has just moved bishop uh, to e3. What is the uh, black move? All right, so that's good. here's the second position. What has just moved the bishop to e2? What is black's right move? What is black's next move? All right. That's it. So, next move. White has just moved the queen to h4. What is black's next move? Alright, so let's begin with the first position right here. So this is the first position over here. And let's begin with the first move. So far so good. This is just a standard variation for, for my opening here, for my favorite opening here. So this is actually pretty standard. Although usually, uh, Knights, one of the knights would move here or there. Man, this is, I guess, this is the two bishop variation. Not that I know, because you know, a lot of uh, this variation here, it's not in the books of opening, so I'm just giving it random names. And that's kind of aggressive. So this is a freeing move over here. You can see uh, the rook is threatening the queen. Usually I would sacrifice this pawn over here and open up the uh, file. And the queen can go here and there. So it's very strong attack over here, especially if the king castle this side. Next move. And that's and that's the first position, correct? So the first puzzle. So capture the pawn, and then that's basically over here, at threatening the queen. So I get a tempo over here. So I get a pawn. Uh, what can capture the pawn? Because uh, basically, black is that the queen. So that's an advantage of, over here. And again, black cannot, well, I mean, white cannot take black spawn because that will be counterattacked by that one. So, next move. And this is a threat. I usually just ignore this one, really. I mean, I usually just ignore this one. This, the queen basically cannot attack here as long as uh, the bishop is here. So the best what can do usually just trade bishop in which case the king will take that one and that's it. Uh, it's extremely, extremely rare that I will lose because I do that. Next move. And the bishop has uh, basically retreated and that's 
not a good move. That's basically a waiting move. And this is where I noticed what's positive. As you can see, they're on the back. They're on the back line over here. They really should be, you know, what should really be developing the pieces, like uh, maybe here uh, or maybe castle or what. Uh, but for this two alone, it's nothing. What cannot do anything. Next move. And that's the position that I like over here. You can tell the knights are very strong over here. And there's a possibility for, for attacking this way. And once it does that, it's basically just opening up this part over here. And black will have a, an easy time winning, especially since there's a lot of hooks coming up over here. So what is good? What has a good game right here? Next move. And like I said, it's useless. Now, uh, white finally attacks, but this is unsupported. So this is not a good way to do it. Next move. And that's an exchange. So far, so good. But uh, it really, really need to put it to king safety, basically. Uh, the way it is right now, the king is in danger. So forgetting king safety can be deadly. Sometimes you do not have to castle. But a lot of times you do need to castle. So keep that in mind. Next move. And that's threatening this fork right here. And of course this bishop right there. Next move. And this is a long term goal over here. Is this square. Notice as you can tell this point here is not supported. That's why I'm able to basically turn the, the point right here. Now if I want to, you know, I could have just basically uh, take the pawn here with the uh, rook and gain a piece, I mean gain a point, but I don't want to do that. I want to make it fun for me. So winning by boarding method is not something I enjoy. I enjoy something that ends with, with a bang. I'll, do, I'll take the win. Next move. And this is, of course, once I take this one, take this one, take this one, and now again a pawn. But if you notice, remember this bishop? It's attacking the queen. So the queen has to move. Otherwise, the bishop will take the queen and discover the attack. So that's really nice. Again, this is uh, putting the queen over here is useless. The queen cannot do anything by itself. Next move. The queen move to this square. Of course, the queen, queen cannot move here. The queen cannot move here. And the queen basically cannot move here and here. So this is the only square that the queen can move to. So the queen moved there. And of course, this is the personal number three. And I'll show you how it works. Check. King move. Knight takes queen. Pawn takes knight. Queen takes pawn. Game of white resigns. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's game. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.